Hello and welcome to the Humble Seer. So I want to talk about the Met Gala and more specifically, let's go inside the Met Gala, right? So some of the things that I, I hear and see are creepy, strange, odd, demonic. And I'm hearing that these people, they go into a room and they watch some sort of movie, right? They they watch some sort of movie and um, and then they have dinner, they eat and they celebrate, but I don't know what they're celebrating, but it's strange, it's very strange. So we're gonna pull some cards and see what else we can glean from this Met Gala. And it is by invitation and I'm hearing, well, first of all, the like so when people go in to watch the movie not everybody goes in it's like exclusive so if they're if they come with an entourage or like somebody that like their assistant if the the celebrity does or politician whomever is attending right because socialites it's all sorts of people um they uh aren't permitted to go into this room to watch this movie it's very exclusive it's very exclusive and it's like for their eyes only. But I hear that sometimes that information leaks out. I mean, obviously nothing is airtight, right? And people would just like be shocked because this movie that they're in there watching, it almost like puts people in a trance. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so let's pull a card on, <clears throat> let's pull the top card, okay. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Now, the Ace of Pentacles is about good fortune, stability. So I feel that um, people that attend this are like, there are people that are creme de la creme, you know, cream of the crop, I'm hearing, as it relates to the, um, the celebrity world. And if like one year you're invited and the next year you're not, well, you've done something wrong and you're not permitted to go. And then if you uh, correct your wrong, then you will be welcomed back in. That's what I'm hearing and seeing. So the Ace of Pentacles is, a, you know, it's that good fortune, right? And so people that attend this, uh, their their fortunes are expected to rise because well they're at the Met Gala because again this is by invitation and so when people receive this it's huge for them it's huge and they go all out and they have to go all out they have to you know wear the um, the fashions and things like that they have to do that it's part of the gala I wonder what I'd like to know is so it's it's based in fashion is what I'm hearing because I was going to ask why you know but it's 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 more than fashion it's like out out of this world outer world type of it's just strange okay out of this world kind of strangeness okay let's pull a card all right so now we have the seven of wands right the seven of wands and the seven of wands is about well negotiation, self-defense, standing your ground. Now, some people have come out of that in that gala and they have like, <laughs> some people I'm hearing have had nervous breakdowns. I don't know. I mean, this is what I see and what I hear. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'm the humble seer and um, I don't get these things wrong. So people have breakdowns. Some people have breakdowns. Some people like after... Uh, the gala, um, this is just an example, like you may not see them for a while because they've had some kind of breakdown from this thing. And I feel like it relates to the movie that they see that I was saying puts them in a trance. I mean, this is bizarre to me. I, I you know, this is something I did not know. Um, this is a world that I won't ever be involved in, but it's, you know, it's very, it's peculiar, but it's, um... Yeah, it's very strange. I just hear like, oh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> all right, let's pull the top card. 
All right, so now we have the five of wands, which is challenges, obstacles, fights, resistance. And I feel that, I feel that people, some people leave that room where that, that video or movie or mini, mini movie is playing. They leave the room and they try to get out of Dodge is what I'm hearing. They resist it. There's conflict there because they don't like what they're experiencing. They're, they don't like what they see on the screen. That movie is a big part of this gala for some reason. It's like, I don't know, it's a ritual that they they do. I don't know if this is done every year, uh, you know, every five years. I don't know how often this is done. If it's every year, well, you know, it's just a ritual. And um, people that are invited, it, again, it's exclusive. Can we talk a little bit more about the exclusive exclusivity of this? And, um, like who's in like why are the people in that are invited invited why are the people that are invited why do they get an invitation to this okay so it's it's part of the contract is what i'm hearing it's part of their contract it's what they must do so in other words in hollywood and i i talked briefly about this with uh in, in some of my readings, and I know I talked about it with Cardi B and how she doesn't even want, she does not enjoy doing what she does, but she's in a contract. And so like, just like any other contract, any other employer, although this isn't typical, um, you sign off and you say, yes, I will abide by these rules. I will do this, that, and the other because, well, it's part of my contract and I must do it. So this is no different. The Met Gala is uh, about a contract. It's part of the Hollywood contract. And Hollywood is everything from music, rappers, you know, artists, all of that is Hollywood in that world. So it's part of the contract. And so that's why the Five of Wands comes out because for many people, it's a challenge. You know, and they, some people, I'm hearing that some people know about the Met Gala and what's expected and they enjoy it and others do not. Like people that enjoy it would be a Madonna or a Bad Bunny, those kinds of people. Go watch those videos and you'll kind of see why. But in, in, at any rate, that's it. So what else, what else can you tell us so we can close this out? Anything else that you can tell us? It's just a bad energy, bad vibe type of scene. It's not, it's not good. It isn't good. Okay. I'm hearing like blood rituals and things like that. Okay. So we have justice. And justice, well, it goes to what I was saying. Justice is about commitments, contracts, court cases, fairness. Okay, so that just backs what I was just saying about the contract. These people that are in this club, you know, they, uh, they sign a contract and so this is part of it and they have to attend this. And like I say, some people want to attend it like it's an, an initiation kind of thing, right? Okay, we've initiated you into this and now you must do. So you might see, you may have seen someone this year that's on there, that's there that you haven't, that's older and that it's like their first time. Well, now they're initiated into whatever this is, this club that they have, the Met Gala, that's part of the contract. And it may come due for some and some may never have to attend this. And I say have to, because again, it goes back to the contract that they sign, that they must be a part of. So this Met Gala is more than meets the eye, is what I would close on. So thank you for stopping by the Humble Seer. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter, because I put a lot of information out there, mainly about zodiac signs, but I'll eventually do it on all sorts of things. Um, and I'll do, I do weekly, I, do, I pull cards for, um, daily. So it's kind of fun over there. Come on over and check it out. Uh, until next time, take good care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.